What is going on everyone? I'm cleaning up my mess from my last project. Um, what I want to do today is put together the nesting boxes that I ordered. Uh, these are from Best Nest Box and they are the 48 inch nesting boxes. They'll, they said they'll handle up to 45 birds, something like that. So uh, they are 48 inches long or wide and I'm gonna put that together and we're gonna install it in the, uh, the new chicken coop and we'll see how that looks. Okay, this is a nesting box. Let me get this thing unpacked and we're going to put it together. Doesn't look too complicated. You have your choice in the situation here. You can have your eggs come out of the front or the back. So usually if it's out of the back side you have this um, like you have a hole cut out in your coop where the back side is sticking out where you can take your you can collect the eggs without going in your coop. I'm not doing it that way because I don't want to cut a hole out in my coop. Uh, I want to be able to go in my coop and collect the eggs that way. Now the other nesting box I'll put a video to that right up here. That one, I turned it around so where I can collect the eggs from the outside. I don't have to go into my chicken tractor to collect the eggs. And uh, you can check that video out. Um, so we are going to... Now it comes with a kind of a rubbery, plasticky kind of mat that the chickens can sit on or walk on or whatever and uh, so now we just got to put up the sides put this cover on the front and uh, the opening door here Now the eggs are going to be, you know, lay the eggs here and the eggs are going to roll back in here. So this is going to go on the inside of the coop and we want this angle to face this. Now if it was going to be the other way around, then these would be facing the other way like this. So I'd have to switch these around. Okay, next we got to mount this here like, like that. like this. These nuts have a uh, washer built right in them so when you tighten the, the, the bolt it'll it, it holds itself and it doesn't spin on you. So this plate goes right here like that. We're going to put a bolt there and the nut from the other side.
and and this here also one more nut or bolt okay And we're just gonna hand tighten these for now. All right, next goes the cover. All right, when you put your cover on, make sure you don't cover up these tabs back here. These, you'll be folding them out and you'll be using that to hang this on your wall uh, into your studs. Okay, the cover is on nice and tight. The next thing we need to do is put on our little curtains here and they get mounted right on the front here, just like that. All right, we are ready to put the door on for the egg uh, compartment. Right here, you wanna start the bolt and tighten it down like you see here. And on the other side, what you wanna do is just start the bolt and nut and leave it just like that. Now what we wanna do is the hinge part because those bolts are gonna act as a hinge. We want to get one bolt, the one you tighten down on this side, started in there like that, put it on there. Now on the other side, we're going to put a wrench on that nut and tighten that bolt all the way in into the door. Just like that. We need to put these plates in for the, the roosting bar. Uh, we want to put that right here like that and we're going to use a quarter 20 bolt and you want to use the, uh, the nut that's got that plastic locking uh, washer in there. Now you want to tighten these down, snug them down actually. You just want to snug it down a little bit so it still moves. And that's good like that. All right, so now we're ready to put the perch on the nesting box here. And you want to lay it on there just like that. Now we got these 3 16 by 1 inch long bolts. And the nuts that go with them are the ones with the little plastic inside. Plastic wa locking washer. And we want to put that in here like this. And actually we can flip this up, make life a little easier. And you would just want to put this on. There's four of them we have to put on. And uh, then we'll tighten those down. Mm -hmm. 
and we are complete. So, for those of you that don't know, the chicken will jump on here, go inside there, lay her egg. When you go to collect your eggs, you just lift this up, lift this up out of the way. The eggs have rolled down in this, this compartment here, and you collect your nice, clean eggs with no poop on them, no mud, no nothing. Everything's nice and clean. And then, after you collect the eggs, you put this bag down, and we're ready for the next laying session. <laughs> All right, so let's go bring this into the coop and find a good area for it and mount it on the wall. Alright, so I put two buckets down here. They're about 12 inches high, the buckets, uh, which makes this perch here bar about 18 inches off the ground. And ideally, you want it between 18 and 24 inches. Uh, that should work out really good. Um, so, now the next thing I need to do here is these tabs. I'm going to put it into the 2x4. This one here also. Um, I may put an extra screw here and here, I think from the inside though, um, into the two by four just for added support. And that looks like it should work out pretty good. I can take these buckets out of here. Yeah, that looks good. Now when the hens come up here, they land on the perch, go inside, lay their eggs. When it's time for me to collect eggs, you just lift this up, open that up, collect your eggs. Put the perch back down and you're back in business. And you got nice, clean, no poop, no mud on the eggs. Beautiful. All right guys, so I hope you uh, enjoyed this video. I'm gonna put a link to this in the description under the video. Uh, you wanna put your nesting box in an area in your coop. If you got a bigger coop like I do, you wanna put it in, a, in an area where it's not not heavily trafficked, let's just say. So I was gonna put it by the door on the, on the other side of the building here. Uh, but that's too much chickens going in and out during the day and it, it would probably disturb them. So what I did is I picked the opposite corner away from the roost bars and away from the door. It is by a window, but it is dark in there. Um, but so you, basically what you want is a place where it's not a lot of traffic going on and a little darker place for them. So they like it cozy and dark and that's how they lay their eggs, in a cozy and dark place. <laughs> Alright guys, so thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in my next video.